So, here we are. It's nighttime, but it's dark mode. It's a good time to talk about dark things. And we're going to install the Groovebox terminal settings for Mac. So, I, this is my favorite theme. If, if, if you want to pick a different theme, that's cool. But this is going to go through the steps about how to set up a theme. I, there's lots of stuff on the YouTube about how to do this, but I'm just going to go through it myself. So, let's do it. Um, let's go down to... Uh, the first thing we're going to do is search for Groovebox Mac Terminal. And you'll be able to see... Um, you'll be able to see Groovebox Mac Terminal theme. This is actually an extension on... I don't know how to say that name. How do you say that name? It's kind of small. Here, let me zoom in. Um, but yeah, it's this is the theme that you're going to get. Um, but this this other extended one is, seems pretty good. Uh, I used to have this in my dot files, but I went ahead and looked for a new one. So we're going to go here. We're going to click on... This is if you want to see it, the dark one. There's a light one. I, why would you use that? I have no idea. So we're going to use the light one. And we're going to click on dark mode terminal here. And we get this raw data. And we need to go into the raw data for it. Actually, let's, I must have clicked on something wrong. Let's see. Here we go. Click on this. What is this? Download raw file. I don't know where all that stuff came from. That's kind of weird. But find the way to download the raw file. All right, so here we are. We have the file. It's been downloaded. If it tries to name it .txt, just name it .terminal instead. Um, and then then when you go into the terminal app, so you can, you know, do, what is it? Command space terminal. I'll open a terminal. You get this junky terminal here. And we can go ahead and close this one. And then go to terminal settings. And I already have one imported. But I'm going to show you how to get it in. So you hit right here. You do import. And then you go get the terminal one. The one you downloaded. I went to downloads. I had to authorize it. And then I'm going to hit on terminal. I'm going to click on open. And here it all is. Now... Once you're in here, you're probably going to want to improve the font type. You might want to click on default to set the default. The default's nice to have um, because then when you open up a new terminal, it doesn't affect the current terminal, by the way. You have to open a new terminal. So if you do uh, terminal new window, you can actually tell it what you want. Or you, actually, if you want to get good with doing this, you can just use uh, command T always opens a new terminal. So now we have a new terminal with group box colors. Uh, you can't really see the colors because we haven't done any further customization on the terminal. There'll be other videos about how to do that. But now you can see the Groovebox terminal is is there. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything here that I can show you. Nope, I haven't put anything on here. This is a totally fresh system. Now, but the, the thing is, it's pretty tiny. The terminal's pretty tiny. So let's go ahead and make the terminal larger. Um, and you can do that going back into the services. And I'm going to actually change the fonts. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and download the Ubuntu Mono font, which is my favorite. Um, Google Fonts, Ubuntu Mono. And I'm pretty sure you can download this. Get font. Download all. And we're going to put it on. Where'd it go? Did it get downloaded? All right, so we're going to double click it. There's all the fonts. Um, and we can actually install all of them. I think you can just install them all. I think you have to click them all. If you click them, then it'll say, do you want to install it? Install. Can you install all of them at one time? I don't know. Let's try. Let me try them all. Open with new folder to selection item. Open with font book. Move to trash. Open with font book. Let's see. I think you have to put them all in there. There might be a way to drag them all in. Can't sleep. Yeah. 
and then we're going to hit install. We're making a video now. So install. I don't know if it got them all though. I feel like it didn't. I'm going to do them all each individually. Ubuntu font. Nope. Replaces in there. So that one's there. Uh, this one, double click. Ubuntu font replace. That one's already there. I guess I must have all the been in there already. I know I'm doing it the slow way. I don't, it's fine. Just whatever. <laughs> Just need to get the fonts in there. Okay. So now that those fonts are in there, um, I'm going to go change my fonts for, uh, for the terminal. Back to the terminal here. Click on font change. Uh, Helvetica. We're going to change it to Ubuntu. So small. Ubuntu Mono regular character spacing. I'm not going to mess with any of that. I am going to increase the size though. I usually do about 22.21. Uh, I mean, it just changes on the day. I tend to change, but that makes it, it usually makes it nicer for me to be able to, to stream it. Let's try 24 since that's one of the standard ones. These are really small. I apologize for that. Not being able to see, but that's why we're doing this. Um, regular 24 font. Okay, so boom. Ubuntu Mono 24 font. Let's try it. Let's make a new terminal command T. And it didn't make my new one. Uh, maybe it's maybe because I didn't save it. There it did it. That's 24. I feel like maybe we need it to be bigger. What do you think? What do you think? Do we need it to be bigger than that? Can you guys still see it? Let me check. Make sure you guys can still see. Can you still see? Looks like you can. It's just, it seems like it's like really small. Let's go ahead and change it. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, let's make it bigger. Let's do 24. Let's do 36. Uh, maybe it's just because it's a lower resolution. All right, so let's do Command T. Wow, that one's really big. That seems like it works better. Now, if I had Tmux on here, we could actually measure it. So we're going to go ahead and not do that right now. So let's, that's going to do it for us. We got, we got the terminal set up. We got it set up to do Groovebox by default. And um, it's ready. The terminal is ready to start customizing. Um, I just want to end with a note about why I'm using Terminal versus Alacrity versus Kitty versus um, iTerm2. Um, the main reason is because the Terminal is built into the system. It's the most efficient. Uh, it's the most standardized, and it's already on your Mac. Um, it turns out it's a lot faster, too. Somebody raised that issue to me the other day when I was talking about iTerm2, and they're right. They're right. I went back and tested it and I was like, my gosh, the raw terminal is so much faster than iTerm2. Even though iTerm2 has got some interesting, fun things, integrations with Tmux, cut and paste and all that, it's not worth it. It's not worth trading this the raw speed of a terminal, especially when you start to use a terminal the way I do. Uh, and you will. You'll be starting to use a terminal a lot, a lot better, more effectively. So that that's it. This, is the, this has been how to get your Mac terminal set up. Um, we'll do a separate video at some point about how to get Windows Terminal set up, how to get Git Bash and that kind of thing. But for right now, we this is I wanted to get this video done about how to do it. So uh, try to get Groovebox. You can, there's other term, there's other themes out there you can try. So S Solarize is still a really popular one. Um, there, I mean, there's there's a bunch of them. People have definitely have preferences, but Groovebox is my favorite. It's the easiest on the eyes. So hopefully that'll help you out. See you later. Well, next time, the next video is probably going to be how to put brew on your Mac and then how to put Tmux on your Mac, etc. So stay tuned for those.